Back then, as a teenager, I kept thinking, why don't the adults around here just say something? Say it so they know we don't accept segregation. I knew then, and I know now, that when it comes to justice, there's no easy way to get it. You can't sugarcoat it. You have to take a stand and say, that is not right. In the rich tapestry of black history, certain threads stand out. This Black History Month, we delve into the remarkable story and journey of a trailblazer whose courage reshaped the course of civil rights, even if she didn't get the proper recognition for it. Picture Montgomery, Alabama in 1955. Claudette Colvin is 15 and wants to become a civil rights attorney. She takes a seat on the bus, refusing to yield to racial segregation when a white passenger demands her seat. With this act of defiance, Claudette became a pioneer, setting into motion the more widely known events that would follow. Claudette Colvin's refusal to give up her seat was more than an individual act of defiance. It was a catalyst for change, a spark that ignited the flames of the civil rights movement. But Claudette would not get to lead the charge during the ensuing Montgomery bus boycott. Branded a troublemaker by her community, the grassroots organizers deemed Claudette, now 16 and pregnant, inappropriate as the face of the bus boycott, choosing the more palatable advocate, Rosa Parks. But even with all of that, the echoes of Claudette's courage reverberate through time, inspiring a new generation to confront injustice and challenge societal norms. Today, young activists draw strength from her legacy and those alike, recognizing the power of individual action in the face of adversity. Next Gen America carries on this legacy by inspiring young people to raise their voices, to amplify their concerns, and actively participate in the democratic process. Join us to help empower the leaders of tomorrow. I always tell young people to hold on to their dreams. And sometimes you have to stand up for what you think is right, even if you have to stand alone. Continuing on, Claudette's activism persisted. She, along with other plaintiffs, challenged discriminatory bus laws in court, leading to the landmark case Browder v. Gale. This legal victory marked a turning point in the fight against racial segregation. But even a landmark legal victory could not insulate her from the racism of the South or from being ostracized by her own community. She left her dreams of becoming a civil rights attorney behind and moved to New York in her early 20s, where she became a nursing assistant. Her unwavering commitment to justice is a beacon of hope, inspiring others to join the fight for equality. Claudette's bravery paved the way for future generations to fight against injustice. As we celebrate Black History Month, let's honor the courage of Claudette Colvin and continue the journey toward justice and equality.